Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see Simulink model load frequency control. Now, in order to do that, go and open MATLAB first. Once we are in MATLAB, MATLAB uh, we are going to go to Simulink. You can type Simulink here or you can click this one as well. And once we are there, we are going to just create a blank model. And in this blank model, I'm going to need some stuff. <clears throat> in order to get those things i'm going to go into library and let's see what we need first of all we are going to need three transfer functions so i'm just typing here transfer transfer functions when i search <clears throat> okay i'm getting the transfer function i'm going to just Put it here, three of them. Okay, now we have three of them. Now let's do some changes on this. The first one is called speed governor. For this one, we are gonna have the denominator coefficient, this one 0 0.08. 0 0.08. This one should be point zero eight, and then apply OK. That's the first transfer function, and then we are going to go to the second transfer function, and there for the second transfer function we change this one into zero point three point three. Apply OK. Now the third one we are going to change this one this numerator into 120 the second one is called speed turbine the first one is speed governor second one is speed turbine and the third one is called general load model actually generator load model okay this one uh, numerator coefficient i'm going to put 120 And in the denominator, we are going to change this one into 20. This one 20. I'm going to close this one as well. Okay, now apply. Okay. Now we got the three transfer function and values. Now we are going to need some more stuff to complete this one. First of all, we are going to need a gain. That is the sensor. So I'm going to see whether we have that one in commonly used. Okay, here we have gain. I'm going to grab one of those and put it on top. And then we are going to need two summing blocks. sum okay i'm searching some we are having here i'm gonna grab two of them and we have two summing blocks now then the next thing is we we need a scope i'm gonna see whether it's in the commonly used blocks scope okay we have one i'm going to grab that one and then we need a we need a constant that's the last one constant let's see we have one constant here okay now we have everything now let's go and arrange this one in order to create a frequency model now the first thing is <clears throat> we are going to rotate this gain into the other side so i'm going to the rotate and flip flip and flip to this side okay now it's flipped i'm gonna maybe i'll zoom this one a little bit so we can see it bigger oh i don't know why it's not zooming okay now i got it <clears throat> okay here we go now um, we are going to change the gain that is speed regulator constant into 1 over 2.4 1 
1 over 2.4 apply ok <coughs> excuse me and then we are going to change the summing block to plus minus plus and minus Okay. apply ok now we have changes in this one into plus minus what we are going to do is we are going to grab this one right here and we are going to put the constant over here and make sure the positive side is connected with the constant and the negative side is connected with the gain ok then uh, we are going to collect the transfer functions so from here one this to this this to this and this to this and after that we connect to all these things to scope to see the result so i connect this one to scope and then i create a link from here to the gain okay now we have created everything now the last thing we had we are going to do is we are going to change the constant to zero apply okay now let's go and run this one <clears throat> okay now i run uh, i ran this one and here in scope i can see the results i double click this one and you can it's a, you can see it's a straight line that's the frequency model when we don't have a lot now we are going to see we are we are going to see if we attach a, attach a lot what's going to happen that's the basic that's basically the slab is we are going to see the difference with attaching load and without load now to attach the load i'm going to go to the library browser and here i find the step 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 <clears throat> i search for steps step and uh, you see it here this is a step and i put it put this one here and then uh, make sure you change the value of the step to 0 0.02 here this value should be the final value should be 0 0.02 it means we are increasing by its two percentage value 0 0.02 and this one is step time is zero apply ok <clears throat> ok now uh, what else we are going to do we are going to we are going to add this this uh, sum as well so i have to change this one into <clears throat> plus minus apply ok now we disconnect this one and i put this one here and then i'm going <coughs> to connect the positive side with this transfer function and the negative side with the lot always negative side with the lot so make sure you don't miss that this this side and then you connect the, this one with the transfer function okay now we are done now we are going to check it we are going to run this again and see the difference when we add load without load now we added load and we are going to see the scope and you can see the graph changes it going down a little bit and then going up and going straight line that's all i want to show in this video i hope you guys find this video helpful <coughs> thanks for watching see you guys on the next video